In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five options jigsaw puzzle slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created this five option jigsaw puzzle with a different color combination and with the icons. When I click, it moves apart and then you can put some option number one and the title at the top. So let me just play again. It looks like this. When I click, it will show like this. And if you're not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any light gray color background. And I'm going to draw one kind of a jigsaw puzzle. For that, go to Insert Shapes, select the rectangle, click it here and go to the shape format i'm going to increase the size to 1.25 height and 1.25 as width shape outline you can make it no outline then i'm going to add one more shape for to be used in the jigsaw puzzle for that i'm going to use one rectangle shape like this you can see here let me just zoom in all right and then i'm going to insert one oval shape and draw an oval shape and make sure that this and this should be okay you can see here let me just give some different color so it looks like this then I'm going to right mouse click the rectangle edit points and then I'm just going to drag this inside the point the bottom and here also I'm going to drag this inside and here this also from the top I'm going to drag this inside so I end up getting a shape looks, looks like this. So I'm going to select both the shapes, go to the shape format, merge shape and union. Okay. And shape outline, make it no outline. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this shape here. Let me just reduce the size. All right. I'm going to use here exactly in the center, the top and hold the control shift key, bring it down and rotate it. You can see here flip vertical and bring a little bit down then on the right side also and the left side i'm going to use press ctrl d to duplicate and rotate it with the help of the alt and the right arrow key you can see here i rotate and i'm going to make one exactly in the center and hold the ctrl shift key drag the other side and then rotate it you can see here and i'll make between this one all right yeah so you can see here this shape now i'm going to select all the shape hold the control alt sorry control shift key and bring it other side so that we can use for other pur uh, purpose now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this shape okay and hold the shift key this one the top and the bottom do not select the right and the left okay then go to the shape format merge shapes i'm going to make it a union okay and this again i'm going to select this one this two and i'm going to make it a subtract so i end up getting a shape which looks like this you can see here now the other way around what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this two okay and i'm going to subtract this one but now only thing is i need to change this uh this one or i can just duplicate this one and i can rotate also you can see here like this okay so i don't need to make again so this is two shapes so which i don't want this one so i can just simply delete so i've got two shapes here this one and this one all right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make it four or five depending on the requirement i'm just going to hold the control shift key and drag it and one more this one i'm going to drag it okay so i've got five shapes let me just put exactly in the center and then you can just give any color of your choice so i'm going to give some random colors we can see here some random colors i'm giving and this one i'll give this kind of a green color all right so this particular six colors five colors i have used all right and then you can add some icons to it go to insert icons and choose any icons of your choice so randomly i'm just going to choose some five different icons click insert and i'm going to reduce the size maybe 2.5 and change the color to white and then put one one you can see here if you want i can just put it on the top 
or I can put it in the center wherever whichever you feel comfortable all right you can see here I'm just going to add five all shapes like this and then I'm going to group it one by one select this one and press ctrl G you can see here like this you can group it all right so this has been grouped now I'm going to bring this closer you can see here I can bring this closer now these two also I'm going to select and bring this closer I'm attaching this one now this one and this one bring it closer and this also bring this closer all right so once this is done I'm going to duplicate this slide right mouse click and duplicate the slide and this slide I'm going to the transition and I'm going to make it a morph effect and here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this away one by one okay you can see here I'm just going to move it away all right now if I play the slide it looks like this you can see here again if you want to become make it more fast you can reduce it to one so if I play now it comes like this all right now here I'm going to insert some uh, different shapes so select this one go to the rectangle and I'm going to add exactly this one where you can add the title here after the title I'm going to add five old shapes go to insert shapes from the basic shape select the oval shape draw a small oval shape exactly on top of the the jigsaw puzzle all right again depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease the size of this one and then right mouse click go to format shape and go to the effects go to the 3d format from the top bevel I'm going to choose this one the round and first of all shape outline make it no outline and the color which I'm going to choose the same color which I've used for this one and then increase the height and the width to look like a sphere you can see here all right it looks like kind of a sphere so now hold the control shift key add it for the second one the third one fourth and the fifth and then just change the color according to the color selection okay so you can see here and then this one will be green and then with the help of the connector elbow I'm going to shapes select the connector elbow and from here I'm going to connect this one here now second one again same thing I'm just going to repeat it you can see here insert shapes again connector elbow for this part then comes the then the last one all right you can see here and then you can use it again the straight line from this to this like this okay if it is not straight you can just align it properly that is not a problem so you can just do like this again go here next one from here it doesn't matter if you don't connect also it doesn't matter all right and then go here and this is the last one all right you can see here and then below you can add the title and the detail text so your title or option one or whatever you call it make it bold and go to insert text box I'm going to type equals lorem within bracket one and delete the long text I don't want this much text center align reduce the font size and put it here like this select both this press ctrl G to group it and hold the ctrl shift key this is for the second option for the third for the fourth and for the fifth option all right now let me just do one thing I'm going to bring this so I'll copy this one go to the first slide and paste it bring this down 
why I'm doing that one let me just tell you and this one also I'm going to select this one control C control V and bring it up now when I do this part we can see here when I click it comes like this you can see here it comes like this alright so this is the way you can just do this uh, jigsaw puzzle